Hello everybody and welcome to my 63rd VBA tutorial. And this tutorial is going to show you how to use the shell command to run other programs uh, from your uh, VBA editor. So in this example I'm going to run a batch file. Uh, you can actually use it to run a lot more uh, programs. And it's going to lead on into the next tutorial where I show you how you can send information to other programs that you've opened up. So let's open up our batch file. Uh, what I want to do is, first of all, I'm just going to put a variable as a string. So dim file underscore path as string. And then I'm going to set file path equal to where my batch file is. So equals, and then it's in my documents. So if I just copy that, and then I'm doing this example dot bat file. If I just open this up into Notepad, and then all it's going to do is it just echoes out raw, and then pauses in the uh, command line. Um, so I just need this. So let's copy that. So backslash example bat dot bat. So that's our file path. I then need to call the shell function. So put call and then shell and then open bracket. And then it first of all takes the, the path name. So let's put file underscore path. And then the second parameter is how you want the window to be focused. Uh, so I'm going to have it as normal focus uh, and then close bracket. And then what we can do is if we run this, so press play, then it's going to open up our command line with our uh, batch, batch code running. So you notice that this is just saying raw and then it's saying press any key to continue because I put the pause in. So press any key and it will close off uh, and that's ha essentially how you would run uh, any other kind of program application from your VBA code. Uh, if you want to pass parameters in, so let's say instead of using raw we want to use our first parameter then just put in your parameter like that and then in your file path, just reference it the way, same way you would in your command line. Uh, and so we put in our file path, then a space, and, and then we put in our raw, so our parameter to pass. And then let's run this. Uh, and it's going to come through saying raw. We could change it if we want, so grrr, press play and it's going to come up with grrr. Um, so that's how you can pass parameters. Uh, you don't you don't have to use batch, but any kind of program that, that you'd run, uh, so VB scripts and things like that, that you can pass parameters to, that's how you do it, just the same way you would in the command line. Uh, so that's going to be it for shell commands. In the next tutorial, I'm going to use you how you can use the shell combi command combined with send keys and app activate in order to uh, send information to your uh, to your other programs. So thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.